Welcome. Let's discuss a scenario where the diameter meets a perpendicular chord. Let's consider a circle with center O. Given any diameter, which in this case, let's call it CD, and any perpendicular chord to the diameter, let's call it AB. Let's call this point A, let's call this point Z, and let's call this point B. What we can conclude is that this chord got bisected by the perpendicular diameter. And in addition, the perpendicular diameter bisected arc AB. So DB is congruent to AD. In other words, a diameter will always bisect a perpendicular chord in its arc. Now let's prove what we have just said. Let's start by listing the given. Let's start by considering the radius AO and the radius OB, which are congruent because they're both the radius of the circle. Now notice that we have two triangles, triangle AOZ, in triangle OZV. Both triangles share line segment OZ. So we can say that OZ is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. Remembering that both triangles are right triangles, then we can conclude that both of those triangles are congruent to each other. They both have congruent hypotenuse, and they both have congruent leg. Then we can say that corresponding parts are congruent to each other, and the corresponding part of line segment AZ in the other triangle is the corresponding part ZV. which is the first conclusion that we draw. Let's continue by calling this angle, angle one, and this angle, angle two. They are inside the congruent angles, that by CPCTC, we can also claim that they are congruent to each other, their corresponding angles. Angle one is a central angle between the line segment AO and AD. Notice that the vertex is at the center. And angle 2 is also another central angle between the line segment OD and OB. So here we have two congruent central angles. Therefore, the arcs that are opposite to each other are congruent as well. We can say that the arc AD is congruent to the arc DB. So we have shown that both of those properties are true. Any diameter will always bisect any perpendicular chord and its arc as well. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.